Hello everyone. So today we're going to do a very different reading. I'm going out of my comfort zone and we are doing a reading in darker lighting. I like my light lighting but today we're going to be doing it in a little bit of a cosier setting. So this is a reading to go to if you are having trouble sleeping, if you are worried about something, this is going to be your comforting message from the universe to help you feel safe, to help you feel comfortable and also if you're struggling with sleep I hope this reading will make you go to sleep and I will be very happy and not offended at all if you fall asleep during this reading because that is what I want it to be like. I want it to be a very cosy reading for you and that is it. <laughs> okay so please choose your group now. We have group number one two three and four and we're going to see what message wants to come up this is going to be a very general reading so it could be love it could be career it could be anything that wants to come up so please choose your reading and if you like this style of reading please let me know i can do it on different topics i'm not going to do any type of asmr but if it comes out in my voice then that's a plus <laughs> for me um but i just want to do this reading because i love being cosy and why not so that is what I'm going to do so if you want to suggest any other topics you want me to do in this style then please do let me know and let's get started so starting off with group number one to see what your comforting message from the universe is hello group number one let's get started with your reading okay so let's see what we have so we have seeing both sides Take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. Oh, I like that. That is really interesting. I love hammerhead sharks. I think they're so cute. And then we also have Larimar. Lots of blue today. And then we also have, oh, the firefly. Interesting. All right, so let's have a look at Larimar. Okay. So it says, who needs it? The hot tempered, any Aries. Where to put it? When super agitated, stop, drop, hold, Larimar. When to use it? When you feel like all of the world's problems are suddenly just your problem. When anger stands between you and the, and the formation of articulate sentences. Remember, <coughs> okay, throat shock stuff. When anger stands between you and the formation of articulate sentences, remember chill is a choice. Ride the call, breeze with Larimar. Slow your roll. So I love how we have, it's called a sea foam toned Larimar. Interesting. So this is showing me that you guys are having a little bit of anxiety about the future. It could be to do with a certain situation. You're kind of struggling with a situation with somebody as well. So it could be a situation or it could be a certain person. Okay. So when it says seeing both sides take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective so this is obviously a, t a timeless reading but we are in libra season right now and libra season is all about balance it's about the masculine and the feminine so for you guys you might be really passionate about something somebody i feel like may be telling you what to do in a certain situation they might be telling you this isn't a good idea this isn't something that you should be doing maybe it's something that is kind of against possibly like a certain I don't know like what's the word can you give me the word please I'm getting I'm hearing a religion it might be a religion but it might not be okay so I feel like you're gonna change your perspective okay I feel like for you guys you're really working on your heart chakra and you're shifting to see both sides the masculine and the feminine side and the firefly i feel like is all about that passion it's about creativity it's bringing in that gorgeous energy of kind of finding the light and finding where you need to go so for you guys it's really important to just take a step back and if you feel like things are getting too intense larimar is here to Larimar is here to help you with that as well. I'm sorry if you guys hear my stomach grumbling as well. It's because I've had tea and it's like, yeah, it's gross, but <laughs> that's what we get. We have a hypersensitive microphone. Okay, so the firefly here is also showing me that you guys, even though you may feel small in a big world, you can do anything that you want to do, okay? Like, don't ever think that you're not able to do these things. And also, especially if you're really passionate about something, like, you guys might be in Aries watching this as well. Um, 
Also, I'm getting that for some of you guys who are dealing with a narcissistic person or somebody who really just doesn't understand you, just be really gentle with them. And if they are a narcissistic person, then, then please walk away from them if you can. Okay, because at the end of the day, that's their stuff and this is your stuff and you've got to focus on yourself. Especially if you're empathic, you're going to pick up on that person's energy really easily, okay? So we do have these two sharks here and there might be somebody who's kind of overruling you, possibly a parent, possibly a boss or somebody who's just very negative. And I feel like with this, especially because it says slow your roll, it could be the universe just telling you to just slow down and um, just kind of trying to pull your energy away because sometimes we especially if we are empathic we just want to help you know we just want to help people and we sometimes forget that maybe we do need to take a step back and actually just let them do their own thing and so as long as it's not abusive you know um but definitely there's some anger kind of coming up so i do feel like rose quartz would also be really good for you but larimar is all about the throat chakra so for you guys this is really important to be very kind to yourself and know that if you need to say something, just try and be discerning, you know, because sometimes we can regret what we say, you know, but just be just be very aware. OK, so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what's coming in for you guys. OK, so let's see what we have. Wow, that is literally Aries right there. That's amazing. OK, so we have Aries to start off with. See where I can place this. I've never done this sort of style, so that's just plop it there and see how that goes we have all oh, the fall that's amazing i love this guys this is beautiful full sun oh my god the strength card and the king of swords wow that is beautiful i love that that is amazing okay so for you guys definitely some new openings happening i'm really trying not to get excited i'm trying to make this a relaxing reading but i can't help myself and i feel like i want to get really excited and happy i feel like for you it's really important for you to take a step back because at the end of the day you might be feeling quite angry but tomorrow you might not be okay so you don't want to regret something that you say out of anger and the emperor here is showing me that you guys are really coming into your power and this anger could be repressed from childhood. It could be repressed from situations where you really couldn't speak your truth, okay? And the fool is showing me this is massive amount of change coming in for you guys. The strength is also showing me that you guys may be needing to stand up against an authority figure. And if this person um, possibly freaks you out, scares you a little bit, just know that you're, you're as, as important as this person, you know, and especially for you guys, you might actually be manifesting someone in love as well, because I'm seeing that this energy that's been triggering you, whatever this is, whether it's a conjunction or a kind of squaring in astrology or something, it could be that, it could be an external circumstance, it could be a person, it could be your emotions, Whatever it is that's really triggering you, it's bringing you to a happier place. So it may feel like it's kind of pointless or endless or something that doesn't really serve you. But just know that this is really, really helpful. OK, and the the King of Swords is showing me that you're going to end up triumphant. OK, and you're really working on balancing the masculine and the feminine energies. And when we do this is it's basically about how much we give and how much we receive and how gentle we are, but also being discerning. And the Mars energy is showing me that you are needing to be assertive in this situation as well. So just being aware of that. But I feel like that's really, really beautiful. I feel like that's, yeah, very, very beautiful. So last message, I feel with the Emperor and the Sun, there's something there, there's like a connection. So it could be there is somebody who actually wants your attention in love that brings around a really big opportunity for you to be strong around love and be and open yourself up and be vulnerable you know for those of you who are single who are wanting this new start and uh, i just feel like this is just really really beautiful i feel like this is so yeah just really beautiful i love this and the sun is coming up for you guys some of you, you might actually be getting a dog or a cat or something like that all right or watching narnia can't really pick it up on this line here or, or talking to a leo because we have aries we have Leo twice and we also have Air here as well. So that's really beautiful. So I hope that helped you guys. And if you like this style of reading, please let me know. This is going to be like a little extra thing that I do possibly every now and then, depending on if, 
it how well it goes sort of thing and if you guys like it as well um, obviously I want to give you content that you guys enjoy but this is going to be a reading just to help you guys relax and just to kind of take you away from what you're doing and just really kind of chill out so I hope you like this um, I love you guys if you'd like a private reading all the information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon bye bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's get started with your cozy comforting message from the universe so we're going to start with the oracle cards first and then we're going to look into the tarot so let's pull that out first okay so first card out we have polite declaration it says you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals it's time for you to get out there claim what is yours and stay in your power beautiful so this always reminds me of cancerians because of the crab so you guys might be a cancerian so next card we have is the ametrine i knew this was ametrine i love that so ametrine is amethyst and citrine it's a really beautiful balance of that libra energy which is funny because we are in libra season at the time of watching this this is a timeless reading so just take it as it resonates but the libra in this card makes me feel like you guys are really kind of on two sides of something very similar to group number one if you got if you got drawn to this group and also group number one i'd go and look at group number one as well okay let's just pull this one out as well oh beautiful i love this because i'm doing this literally at 12 o'clock at night and moths have been everywhere tonight and i love that i love the green i love the different greens so with this energy here i feel like Definitely you're dealing with somebody or a situation where you're needing to stay in your power and really be very authentic to who you are and who who you're really giving out to the world. And ametrine, as, as I said, is, is amethyst and citrine. And amethyst is very much to do with the crown chakra. Citrine is very much to do with the solar plexus. So essentially it's trusting our gut. It's trusting our, who we are and trusting our situation and trusting ourselves that we can get out of this situation and we can move forward and at the end of the day it's, it's going to be okay all right so let's see what else it says on this card so it says the chronically indecisive so you guys might be indecisive as well it says libras as well so where to put it wherever you do your best thinking i.e the office or the bathtub when to use it if a deadline is on the horizon and you need a big idea if you can't decide on something swipe left or swipe right call on ametrine and remember either way everything is going to be amazing beautiful it says make your big dreams and your big life i love that so it could be literally just honoring your feelings about something if you're struggling to if you're struggling and you're questioning your own kind of what you're worth or, or if you can actually achieve what this is just know that you can do that okay i'm gonna just look up the um moth and we're gonna see what he has to say in the book so this is showing up to be air which is really beautiful so this is very much to do with the crown it's very much to do with um how you're connecting to spirit and really trusting your energy okay guys it's really trusting in that journey and knowing that when you do get intuitive hits is to not just brush them off okay i'm looking in the wrong section i was like where is the moth in this book and i was literally looking in the wrong section okay where is it so we are doing a nighttime reading and the moth here is literally about the nighttime so i feel like the moth here is showing us that there is the light in the darkness and you will be able to find where you're going so it does talk about impulsive hasty and wishful so you may be feeling a little bit impatient you may be feeling like i don't know what i'm doing i don't know where i'm going you know all that jazz so when in balance it says enthusiastic and whimsical when out of balance idealizes others and jittery finish a project so you guys might be really compa comparing yourself to other people you might be, I, th I feel like for you guys, you're actually avoiding something. I feel like you're avoiding possibly doing a project or you're avoiding leaving some, a certain situation or a certain someone out of being scared. And I think what this is, is kind of you're scared that you're not going to find your light and you're not going to find 
the thing that really makes you happy and you're definitely going to find that okay guys you're going to get this balance and ametrine is a really good crystal for just addictions and things like that so you guys might be going through some addictions and things it could be various different things it could be addiction to food it could be alcoholism it could be sex you know all that jazz so it could be various different things so just be very aware that you guys are special and never doubt yourself okay and claim what is yours and stay in your power so if there's something you want to do don't doubt that you can't do it and find that light within the darkness and i feel like you guys have been through some really hard stuff so just be really kind to yourself okay so i'm also hearing leave your mark so when we obviously when we're not on this planet anymore we're going to be leaving a mark you know so leave your mark in the best way and just be authentic to yourself because we only have a certain amount of time on this planet so just be yeah just be really gentle with yourself and know that whatever you are harboring to yourself if you want to share it just freaking go for it um i'm hearing the universe gives you permission and obviously i'm not saying you need permission but the universe is almost like for you as an individual with your personality you may feel that is comforting so it's completely up to you how you take it so beautiful we have the king of wands a lot of like masculine energy around you guys because we had um, a masculine we had the emperor in number one's reading so we have a lot of like fiery masculine energy which is really good wow i love this i love that we have justice as well because justice is very much about the energy of balance it's the libra energy so i really love that all right, actually, I'm gonna move this guy over here so we can get a little bit more room. Okay. All right, so the King of Wands is showing me that you guys are possibly struggling to figure out what your project is that you wanna do. You're possibly kind of struggling about making your moves in this world, especially in the masculine area. Um, but I feel like it's going to be okay. All right, I feel like it's gonna change for you and I think it's very much to do with leaving the past behind and releasing all of that old energy and knowing that it's going to be okay and whatever you're doing it's it's worth it okay and with the two of pentacles some of you guys might be scared of leaving a job because it's gonna obviously you might not, you think you might not get another one you know but you will i think it's very much about taking a leap of faith here and just believing in yourself and working on things that make you really happy and knowing you do have worth and I feel like creativity is going to be really important for you it's going to be really good at kind of helping you to express yourself and helping you to really come into your power okay and yeah I feel like this is really really positive and don't be sad about the past guys don't be sad about what's been going on in the past you just focus on yourself and what it is that you want to achieve out of this life because you are very, very important and the universe wants you to know that and they, you are being taken care of. I do see the whole fruits of your labour kind of coming in and you are gaining what it is you want to get out of this. So really, really beautiful energy and I really, really like this. And don't be afraid to speak up, guys. I feel like that's a quite a big message for you guys and just standing your power. I'm also hearing you're preparing for a trip. So some of you guys might be going on a trip very soon. I'm hearing Colorado. Um, in the United States so I don't know why I'm picking up on that um, and I'm also hearing the letter J so you could be living somewhere where they've got the letter J as a name or a state or something I'm hearing Jet Jettison or something like that like that's a company name or something like that but it feels like jetting off and kind of you know doing your thing in possibly your country and just having a little holiday something like that, um, lots of different messages for you guys. But if some of you guys are actually picking up that you might be doing some drawing out in nature and it's just really relaxing or doing some journaling or like being at a campfire with your mates or your friends or your family, something like that, that's what I'm picking up on. So don't worry about money guys. If you are wanting to change your job, I do see you coming into money. And I see you coming into balance. You just gotta take that leap of faith and figure out what makes you happy, okay? So thank you so much for watching and if you like this style of reading please let me know and if you would like a private reading all my information is down below as well as my crystal shop everything is down below so thank you so much for being here i love you guys and i'll speak to you soon
Hi, hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we're gonna do the oracle cards first and we're gonna see what message wants to come out for you guys. Okay. So I don't know, this is this is extremely random, but I don't know if any of you guys need to, need to go to the toilet. <laughs> need, literally need to go pee, because I felt the need to suddenly go pee. So go to the toilet and come back, okay? If you need to go to the toilet. So, okay, first card out we have. Oh, I've never had this card before. That is so cute. Okay, so I'm getting really excited. <laughs> okay, so it says, dancing in the rainbow break break free from whatever is holding you back express happiness find out what you truly desire that is so cute oh my god i'm obsessed oh my god i actually want to just keep staring at it it's got all my favorite things in it rainbow dolphin oh, yes queen i'm like fully i'm fully here for it okay let's put that guy there all right because i like him he's like going right he's gonna go right at the top okay so Let's have a look at your crystal messages. You, got, you guys got two crystals. So we have Hiddenite and we also have Quartz. So Hiddenite says claim your happy, pa happy, pa happy place and Quartz says enhance your vision. So that is really beautiful. Okay, so Quartz is very, very good for clearing your energy. It's very good for helping you feel very clear and, and aware of what you're doing. So it says, when you find yourself believing the limitations your mind puts in front of you, and also it says, when you find yourself stuck in the past or too focused on the future. So for you guys, you guys are really struggling with being present right now. You're really figuring out that things are not what they seem right now. And it could be in your life or externally or, you know, any of those things. And it could have really, could, their life could be just taking a very strange turn that you really didn't expect okay so i do feel like you are going to have change i think you are got you're definitely going in the right direction i feel like it's just acknowledging what it is you want to do in this life and knowing that you can just do whatever you want to do obviously there are restrictions with money and whatever restrictions there are but at the end of the day if there's something that you want to do then friggin go for it okay and know that you can do that and you can achieve that and this kind of reminds me of smoky quartz and I feel like it's kind of, um, this is reminding me of clear quartz and smoky quartz and smoky quartz is very, very grounding. I feel like I just saw a spirit in the, in the camera. I don't know if that was picked up on camera by us or something. Um, it's all like a wisp of something kind of going across the screen. Okay, so basically it's telling you to lighten up and find out what you truly desire. Like find out what is it that makes you really, really happy. And we also, with the hidden eye, it's kind of showing me that something may be hidden. So try out different things. What, what, what makes you happy? You know, what, what makes you feel really, really good? You know, and if there's something that you want to do, then just go for it and know that you can achieve that. Okay. So I really, really love that. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay. So I feel like it's just claiming back your power. And if you guys are feeling lost, just understand that maybe you need to come back to yourself and maybe meditate on what you're feeling, okay? And just really slow down, because sometimes it just takes a little bit of slowing down to get where you want to go. Yes, okay, so some of you guys could be an Aries, um, an air sign, or a Scorpio who chosen this group. I feel like it doesn't have to be, though. It definitely doesn't have to be. So... For you guys, I feel like you're really working on your inner power, you're working on freedom and you're working on really transmuting your emotions. So there may be some really deep emotions. Wow, I'm getting so hot. Ooh. So some of you guys may be really dealing with some really deep emotions that could be causing you a little bit of anxiety. OK, so just realize that you guys are most likely going through this internal process so you can have freedom. OK, so you can have freedom from your mind, from judgment, from feeling just very, very insecure and unsure of where you're going. OK, so with the Scorpion card, this is, this is showing me that you guys might be feeling the need to sting other people um protecting yourself scorpios are very protective they are very loyal They're, they can be very controlling as well and i know because i am one <laughs> 
so I, I, I'm very aware <laughs> of what they are so it feels like you guys need to stop protecting yourself and just friggin do it just friggin do what you want to do and this is this is the universe saying look you can do this and you don't need anyone's permission okay if you're excited about something and something makes you happy just friggin do it and with the horse it's showing me that you are going to get freedom and this is going to bring you to a really happy place um, I'm just going to look up the scorpion okay and it's funny how the scorpion is fire and the horse is showing up here as earth so if you put earth on a fire it puts it out so it's kind of showing me you guys that you need to come away from lighting up stuff and, and, and make, putting more fuel on the fire okay and I feel like this is more mentally than anything else so it says passionate competitive tends toward isolation so when in ba balance wild and free fierce yeah like the horse I love that when out of balance jealous resentful unresolved to bring into balance honesty and forgiveness so it says sometimes a scorpion's heart heat festers and they focus on an unresolved event from the past usually a situation where they left feeling burned the scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual fiery but fun stuff so being honest with how you're feeling and with dolphins they are extremely extremely empathic they are really high vibrational beings and they are very healing as well so i feel like if you guys are leaning towards healing you could be wanting to do a healing job and quartz is extremely high vibrational and um, it's kind of calling you to get clear on what is it that you want but also just being really kind to yourself and knowing that self-care is so damn important it's so 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 important and it's going to make you i feel like it's just something that you need okay it's definitely something that you need okay and um yeah i really love this so let's get your tarot cards and let's see what wants to come out for you okay so i'm also going to recommend you guys a apophyllite i keep looking at my apophyllite guy i might be selling these on my shop by the way so if you guys are interested then these are going to be available so this is really really beautiful i love my apophyllite it's just stunning um and the little bit on the bottom so cute so if you guys are interested i will definitely be selling some of those very very soon okay so let's see what tarot we have okay they just they just said like just spread the cards out so i was like okay <laughs> i gotta do what spirit tells me to do yes queen you are coming into a much nicer place with your throat chakra feeling being able to embrace the past and not being controlled by it and not being controlled by people in the past as well you may be feeling like you have to put everyone first actually you're going first okay and now it's your time to really shine and i know that can be very very scary but just know that you can do this okay wow look at that got the lovers right at the top absolutely beautiful this is so beautiful, I love this reading. So giving love to yourself will bring in love. So if you are single, I do see somebody coming towards you and possibly connected to work as well. And the tower is showing me that you're going through a gigantic transformation, okay? And the, right, the main thing you need to do is just appreciate yourself because it will bring in money as well. Self-love brings in money as well as people and people who are on your wavelength. I feel like learning to speak up you speak your truth to people who really are narcissistic and people who really aren't treating you very well and the page of swords is showing me that you're going to get ultimate freedom by doing this okay and it may be quite uncomfortable a little bit shocking at first but actually it's going to really serve you well and you're going to get so much contentment okay and the lovers is showing me that you guys are going to get fulfillment abundance love you know it's all coming towards you, you just got to be really patient with yourself and the three of swords is also showing me that you guys have been through hell it could be with real money as well you could be have actually gone through like a divorce or a breakup and it could really have affected your bank, bank account or could have put you in debt possibly if you had to go to court or something so just you i feel like you're recovering from that and even if it was like years and years ago you could still be recovering from it emotionally you know emotions are very fluid and, and spirituality is extremely fluid so just be very aware that the things are going to happen for a reason okay 
and the tower is showing me you guys are gonna get this freedom that you want okay and this is just so so special I love this this is absolutely beautiful and I feel like your your purse is going to be overflowing with money and you and it, I feel like search for happiness because that will lead you to the oh, your ultimate goal if you're ever confused about where to go choose happiness choose your own happiness not anyone else's your own happiness and that will lead you where you want to go okay I'm also hearing pop in the cork and this could be a reference to various different things I feel like it could be your confidence and kind of taking the leap of faith oh my phone just like woke up on 12 12 I love that so we literally have 12 12 here beautiful so that is a massive synchronicity and also 12 is, is number three and this is group three so that is crazy and yeah I feel like I'm hearing pop in the cork so like I'm hearing celebration I'm hearing it possibly around if you've got a birthday coming up soon it's gonna be a really good birthday massive amount of good things coming okay so absolutely beautiful thank you so much for watching if you like this reading then please let me know um i might be doing more styles like this i'm trying out different things so we're going to see which one i prefer and which one you guys prefer also and as well if you'd like a private reading please let, uh, contact me down below with the instagram through instagram or through email also if you would like to get anything from my shop then please let me know down below just message me through my shop or email me or instagram message me and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye guys hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so we're gonna do the oracle cards first so you guys have got wow you guys got quite a lot of oracle cards so let's do those first okie dokie so let's start off with the first two cards Ooh, love where you are Use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you like, what you would like. Then you also have distinctive potential. Rely on your faith and knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination and hang in there until you realise a goal. Ooh, I like that. That is so cute. Okay, so let's have a look at the next cards we have and then we're going to read all of them at once. Okay, so we have the tarantula. We have Moonstone, beautiful. We have Agate. And we also have Aventurine, beautiful. So Aventurine is really good for the heart chakra, okay? It's really good for embracing love. And it's also really good for kind of bringing in good luck. So for you guys, what I'm feeling is to you guys have been feeling quite sad about where you're going and you feel like you've kind of lost hope. So I feel like what's really happening here is to connect to your heart. And I feel like part of you is stopping yourself from, from really accepting where you are because I feel like for some of you guys, you're feeling a little bit restless. I feel like you're just getting really angry about where you are, you're kind of a bit fed up and knowing that things will change, okay? Because Moonstone is about coming into your power Agate, I feel like, is about what well, it says, finding your solid ground. So I feel like that's really, really beautiful. And whenever, it says, whenever you need more stability in your life. So you guys might be feeling a little bit unstable, a little bit confused. And Moonstone is really good for, kind of, to do with the new moon. It's really good to put in your bedroom. It's really good for um, connecting to your inner child. So if you guys need to do that, then definitely do that. I just burped, so that's clarification. So, um, Aventurine is also, it also says, when you find yourself in a crisis of confidence, it's time to wake up, clean up, and re-up your shine. It's really about confidence, I feel, and I'm going to find what the tarantula is talking about in this book as well. So, you might be feeling like you're at a crossroads, okay? That is literally what the tarantula says here. It says a crossroads claiming life's purpose. So you guys may be really over intellectualizing something. You might be feeling like you can't get anywhere. And you're also feeling like you've lost your spark in life. You guys might need to become more eco around your life as well. You might need to take more vitamins, um, maybe change your diet, maybe change up how you're really um, feeling about kind of your environment and maybe sage yourself or putting some plants in your house. Just really kind of get grounded and also go outside more. I feel like you guys don't get enough sunlight and enough nature. Also, if you do have a grass patch or a garden, 
put your feet on the grass I think that's really going to help you okay and also I'm hearing Tai Chi I think that's going to really help you um, emotionally um, I'm hearing some of you guys think that that's an old people exercise but Tai Chi is actually so good like I've tried it and it's amazing <laughs> And I, I can be very stubborn, so if I if I want to do it, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's gonna help, you know, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. So, for for you guys, I feel like you're really having to be very patient in this situation, and knowing that all of this patience is gonna be worth it, okay? And you may feel a little bit confused and not knowing where you're going, but focus on one thing at a time. You guys like to focus on like 50 things at once. So focus on one thing at a time, follow your intuition and journaling is gonna be really good for you as well. Journaling and writing your feelings down and possibly writing a letter to somebody who really hurt you. I'm hearing like something about your inner child and like writing a letter to somebody. I'm hearing like a father figure or a mother figure or like a grandpa. It doesn't actually have to be to them. You don't actually have to give it to them. You can literally like rip it up or put it in the fire. Um, and that will really help. For some of you guys, you're a fire sign as well. We've got fire here. Um, but also have you working on your heart chakra and just figuring out what makes you feel happy and what makes you feel good. Okay, I love that. So let's get your tarot and let's see what's happened. What's going on? I really, I really unconnected to this one. It's the love where you are. I feel like that's a really big one because I feel like you guys are really struggling right now with your like, current situation. And just loving your house or maybe you're in a maybe you're in a rented property and you want to get a mortgage you know that kind of thing so i feel like that's going to change for you okay so first cut out reverse yes okay you guys feeling like you're going backwards that's what's going on yeah you guys are leaving something behind so this is all for a purpose okay and you guys might be reluctantly moving leaving something behind you're really struggling to let go of something reverse kind of right um, you're really struggling to let go of something. Yeah, exactly. You guys are going to come into a massive amount of happiness and balance. you just got to let yourself feel that. And also, for some of you guys, you have quite a lot of anger that's built up. You're learning to just release that. That's why you're feeling you're, like you're going backwards because you're like, okay, why am I feeling really uncomfortable? Why have I got this, this next symptom or feeling the energies today or what's going on with the astrology? It's like every single day is completely different. The energies are so random at the moment. Like... Like we have such intense energies now everything is just so potent so nothing is hidden that's what i'm hearing so if you are struggling with some sort of situation it's going to be exposed to you but the best thing for you to do is, is face it head on because when you do that you're one you're asserting your boundaries and the universe is understanding okay that is what you want number two is that you're able to discern what it is you need and if you don't assert yourself and you just let everyone handle it or you just step back how do you know what you want? You know, you got you got to kind of embrace it and just go through it. And also, when you do, there could be love on the other side. If you guys are wanting balance, that's coming in, especially in love. If you guys are wanting a love relationship, I feel like um, that's coming in for you. Also, I feel like with the Page of Cups, it's showing me that you guys are giving yourself permission to feel, giving yourself permission to love. This actually reminds me of a breakup. So some of you guys might have been going through a really bad breakup, and I'm sorry if you are. And I hope this video is comforting you and I hope this video is helping because that is what I'm here for. <laughs> um, but I feel like the Seven of Wands is showing me that you guys might be pushing away help. So if you guys are struggling to um, be vulnerable, just know that people aren't there to hurt you, you know. And sometimes things have worked out bad and sometimes they work out good and sometimes people have hurt you in the past. But not everyone's going to be like that. It's recognising that as well. And with a page of cups you might okay this is very random some of you guys might be buying new shoes or new boots i'm feeling that's what i just suddenly picked up on and also with the page of cups it's showing me that you guys are going to feel so much more nurtured and i'm thinking about in about three months time you're going to feel a lot better okay emotionally especially could be health wise as well you might feel a little bit better health health wise just more stronger because this is a massive transformation you are literally shedding your old self so of course you're going to feel vulnerable, of course you're going to feel confused, especially if you're having to let go of people you've had in your life for a very, very long time. Of course you're going to feel upset, of course you're going to feel like you just want everything to just fudging move forward, you know. 
But the best thing for you to do is let those people go because at the end of the day, if they're not treating you right, why would you want them around in your life? You don't want that energy. Okay, so for you guys, you guys are special because I'm going to pull you another card. I feel the need to just pull you one more card. So which card do we want to pull today? Okay, they're pointing me towards two decks. I'm going to pull you two lots of cards. So I'm going to pull you one out of my astrology deck. cards there second house of money so we're going to have some income coming in as well money's going to be really good for you okay so that's coming in beautiful look at the top card they said oh yeah lots of fiery energy so for you guys there's definitely something about asserting yourself and just really acknowledging your own power you have a lot of power okay you really do so just really um pushing that forward and not Letting frustration rule you, okay? Because you're worth more than that. Okay. Fluorite, just trust your spirit guides. They're there to help you, they're there to guide you, okay? And also, you guys, just sit still for a minute. You know, just sit still and just chill. Watch this video, don't think about anything else, you know? And just, I feel like you guys may need to meditate as well. I think you're lacking in meditation, so possibly do that and also keep hydrated and eat good food like I'm feeling for you guys there's a food that they're recommending me and I don't know what it is for some of you guys I'm getting guava guava fruit and also some of you guys might be fancying toast that's really random but that's what I'm hearing possibly beans on toast very British snack okay so we have creativity we have the lunar eclipse and we also have Pluto wow Oh my god, that is some big, 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 big shifts. So the lunar eclipse is like, oh my god. <laughs> it's like, especially the fact that we have Pluto and we have the lunar eclipse, but we also have Pluto. Like that is a gigantic amount of emotional um, change for you guys. Massive amount of emotional change, okay. So I feel like with the lunar eclipse, it's showing me that you guys um, are gonna really shift how you feel about something very drastically. And Pluto is a really good planet of change. It's about the underworld, it's connected to Scorpio. So it's all about the hidden, you know? So you wanna find things that are hidden about your life and it's probably gonna shock you and make you feel uncomfortable, but then also you're gonna get into balance. So it's friggin' worth it, you know? And creativity here is showing me that you guys need to get into your creative zone. Become creative, you can do this, okay? And let's get your other card. You may be connected with the Pisces as well. I've got Pisces and water sign energy. Beautiful. We've got honesty, serpentine. Oh, sorry, seraphonite or serpentine. Um, so seraphonite here is showing me that you guys are going to feel, you need, feel the need to be more honest with your heart chakra. We really need to be more honest with what it is that you want out of life and also just just being like acknowledging your own power and this is about your heart and your third eye so you guys could be going through a little bit of throat issues heart issues some of it's energetic so just be very aware of that obviously i'm not a doctor so just take it as it resonates but i really love that that is very very positive and i feel like for you guys it's very much to do with opening your heart i feel because you guys have got a lot of anger okay and it can really bubble up so make sure to use that creativity to really release some of that and creativity is also to do with sensuality as well so that is where that's connected you might be feeling a little bit frustrated as well like in that area so if you need a release of that you know go do your thing girl um or guy um but also just recognize that it will pass okay and try to kind of excrete that energy and channel that energy into something that's, that's positive okay so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this reading thank you so much for being here if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below if you'd like to get anything from my crystal store or have a little look i'm bringing in some new items i'm very excited so thank you so much for being here i love you guys and i'll speak to you soon bye